nice taste in between the break after that uh, second map. Now we head to Dust2 Trace. It's the finale. It's a decider, and it's about to get dirty. Oh, indeed it is. The Pancake Master himself couldn't put a stop to the game that we're about to have on our hands here. Complexity, Big Clan looking to square off here in this last map of the series. And boy, I didn't really think that this one was going to go to all three, especially with what we were seeing from Complexity over on Virgo. However, this action is really taking place in the fast pace here at the B site, and right now it's rushed out in front of it. Oh dear, they're going everywhere. The CTs don't want to give it up for free, though. They're going to fight through the door. Tizian gets two before he drops off, and Complexity, a man up with a bomb dropped on the site. They need to get it off the ground. It is open for the door, though. That is a bit of a predicament as Rush looks to cross. Poison will grab it. There's that smoke out in the door. Tapson getting tagged. Tizian tries his hand, and he will fail. It's just this grenade from Tapson. It finds nothing, and Complexity, they should have this one locked in. Yeah, they should. Now, we say Tapson, more like Tapson as he gets erased from the game itself. That's not going to feel good. Rush leaving him with a little bit of a hangover. And what is Complexity picking up this first round? 1-0 to zero currently starting things off here. We had a marathon of a first map. That was Mirage. It feels like ages ago. Of course, Vertigo, I think I saw about 5-50 to 50 1vx situations with Blame F. Yeah, it does feel that way. He's a bit of a bit of a vertigo gamer, a bit of a keen keen one on that side of the map. But uh, oh, well, complexity. They're full of keen players. Poison being one of them with the scout down middle, and an early advantage for Cole in this round. Bigger on a force by. Now, Trace. In this series, we've seen so many of these force by wins in this second round. It feels like no one's conversing. Whoever wins the pistol loses the follow up. And Zantares, well, he's trying to keep that happening. Look at Tapson. He's in T spawn for crying yes, out loud. He certainly is. And he's going to grab a scout right here. Could have grabbed the smoke. Doesn't necessarily need it. Meanwhile, Complexity, they found their way up long. Or what's left of Complexity, that is. Just four deep and they're rolling in. One player there towards lower to try there to come off a rotation. But Tizian has got some plans of his own. Here's Blame Map getting involved in the round. Little as you know, a second player's on catwalk. Taps in with the scout. My goodness, what a shot that was. Just trying to get the bomb down. Complexity's already got their hands full. Grenades are going to start to ring in. And a 3v2 retake here for Big. Yeah, nice nade on the post pawn. Oboe down to 50 immediately. And there's no kiss up for Big, so kills must come and they must come soon as well. The spam puts Tabson down to 30. And it's a double CT retake. This is not where you want your players to be coming from. But Big, beggars cannot be choosers. They've got to make the best of what they got. Tabson's gone. Config swivels and play together. This is expertly played by Complexity. Config doubles up and side by side they swing. They take every fight they can and they lock in their anti-eco. That was a force fight from Big that almost goes over the line, but almost doesn't quite cut it. It really doesn't. And you have to look at the beginning of this round, you know, where it's it's scout v scout all over this map. And that, to me, that one's fun. So we'll keep it going. The good times are rolling for complexity, at least for the time being. These guns are out, but the shots are there. And somehow Zantaris has done this with a P2000. Now, Trace, uh, during this eco, I want you to break down your legendary CT eco dust two <laughs> pistol strat oh, okay. that, that wins us every single eco round that the teams really need to pick up. All right, now, Zonic, if you're listening, if you're watching, I want you to put this one in the back of the book for a rainy day, okay? Yeah. So basically, it's like this. I'm going to smoke top middle. I'm going to smoke uh, quick cat from CT side and spawn. Yeah. And as soon as it blooms, we're running right up middle. And that's yeah. it. We can either divert to lower or we're going top mid to the barrels. Always top mid. Always top mid. That's for the real gangsters. They go top yeah, mid. Yeah. You know, sometimes the MAC-10 or maybe not even the MAC-10, I guess it would be CT side. MP9. MP9. The equivalent. It will uh, do. Yeah. I mean, we have won tell. way too many of those mid pushes, Trace. No one does it. They need to pick it up. But either way, the Ecos are done. We're back into gun rounds. We're back into the beauty of this game. Big are fully bought. And with the AWP as well, Cole, is this a B rush in the first rifle round? Uh-oh. Here we go. Yes, it is. Config out front. He's looking for blood. It's going to be Zonteres that strikes first from the side of Big. That's going to net a bomb plant. Flash going over the wall, and there's still four, or excuse me, four alive, even though Rush just flirting with death. One HP. You can tell Big really aren't postured and really aren't set up in a position to really go for this at all. So they're going to back away. Save and hold on to this op. These two and fours. That's going to be another round for Cole. They're up to four, and they're up to four pretty quick quick yeah already a bit of a different side for Cole as Havel was saying like you know you're gonna see a lot of uh leaning towards A on this map on the T side for Cole so the fact that they're throwing in not only you know the pistol B rush but doing it in a, already in the first rifle round and cutting big out of it already setting a bit a bit of a different precedent big they even expected that they had double B from the start of the round they threw a molly but Cole just ran right through it with a smoke down and fast pace 4-0 and just 
re I'm just remembering, right? That that big mouse sports game, the 16 2. So which one? The big mouse sports game. It was a huge mouse sports game. There was one with mouse sports yeah, in. Which really one? Big game. Mouse sports. Who were they? I, I can't remember who they're playing, but uh, but big 16 2 them, uh, Trace. Uh, oh, the team. Big. Oh, that's ah, yeah, okay. Sorry. Yeah. Sometimes it really, you know, yeah. these times things be hitting a little different. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, dude, words are hard, man. Words really are hard. England. Oh. I can't stand it. Well, AWP there in Poison's hands, and he can't net any shots with it that land. However, it's going to be Searson that does the exact opposite. Well, I know Harry's a big Searson fan. Why is that, Hugo? Uh, I think he just called the roster change. He knew that Big were going to pick up Searson, not off of a leak, just off of a prediction. And uh, and he called it, and I don't think he, he can let it go, you know? Yeah, just, at this uh, point, you know? Ooh. Yeah. Well, Take what you can get. Searson's going to have to let go in this round. Poison is able to put his AWP to use, and they're going to continue to pressure up long A, three deep. F left a man here in top middle in the form of Blame F, but as the Puppet Master Ooh. goes to pull so the strings here towards Long, it hasn't gone super well for Complexity. Now just Rush and Blame F together in a 3v2. Blame's got to move. He's got to get more into the fight. It's Rush. He's currently out here on an island by himself. Yeah, Blame got spotted late as well, so they know temporarily they have Rush alone. They're going to try and fight him while he's got no support. And Rush has pushed past with a flashbang from Blame. Molly in the spawn. And that bomb is crossed. Rush should focus on the part, but they might double peek. They might swing and look for fights. That does work for another one, but Rush doesn't realize the Molly hides Keto, the smoke, the incandescence Man. trace. It's all over the place and big. They're going to pick up their first round off the back of it. Really big things. You know? Large things, Trace. Large things. Their way. Yes, that's going to be that first round of play for Big Clan. It only took four for complexity. Or big to get into the game. It's not such a large way just yet. Here we go. Complexity know that they're finding some successes out long and immediately Rush is able to take the AWP out of Searson's hand. That's going to be a painful one for Big. Yeah, quick flash for Cole and just bursting into, into what we know and love from this team. The long control towards A. Cross smokes are ready to go out big. They want to start the flank middle, get control of this catwalk to set up for a retake. But you'll notice Blame is waiting for this all in a top mid. Actually not going to give him uh, anything. They back up towards those long smokes and Complexity try and cross without the second smoke. Bit of a danger, but no punishment for it. Luckily, the orb has already been removed, like you said. So no one-shot potential here for Big. And Cole will cross to the site with the bomb. I mean, it's actually the last person to cross, but eventually does make it. And that's what matters. Yes. It's always uh, calculated, of course. Ooh. Bomb, last one in the site, planted safely for long. And they do maintain control of that. It's just going to be the save here for the side of Big. They've got some rifles to hold on to. So a fifth one on the board for Complexity Gaming, or COL, however you remember them. How do you remember them, Trace? Uh, let me tell you some of my fondest memories of Complexity. Yeah, hit me. Would be about when I was 14 or 15. Okay. And I got invited into what is col.pry. It was back when we used IRC. So oh, wow. hold on now, boomers. Whoa. Boomers will know where I'm coming from. Okay. Big things right here. Uh, so we get invited into col.pry by none other than Jason One Lake himself. Yeah. And that's when I really felt like I'm on top of the world right now, <laughs> you know? Anyway, shout out to the big man, big, big Mr. Lake. We had him on yesterday. He's a good good companion to talk to us and for complexity this is a good look this is really for the whole enchilada all the marbles of this group group b certainly in the hands of the winner of this series and right now complexity are making a strong case yeah i think big would have loved to start a t-side on this map as well um you know the, the fact of the matter is when they did do that stomp against mouse it, it was all t-sided uh where they found you know 32 half and 62 finish so right now they're getting complexity bringing the heat and boy is it sweaty? 5-1, another take of long. Big, they're going to have to back up. They have the orb on car, but it's actually only a scout and it's already been mollied out. Citizen's dead. No way to survive that one. Rush burns him to a crisp and big. It's 10, 20 seconds into the, into the round and it's already looking like a save, right? Like unless someone makes a heroic play here and gets away with a multi-kill, Big are not going to be able to win this round. They're trying to get map control. They're trying to clear lower, but Blame F is still here. His presence just a nuisance in the back line of big and they don't even know about it yet Antares, oh dear timing is everything here and he's crept into into t spawn he's not sprinting until he gets away as well so blame doesn't realize this and this flank will catch cole on long alone now oh, yeah this is info big already have they know this is going down but this is just about potentially winning the round in a position that they shouldn't have any skin in the game well rush double back there rush doubles back he takes a look at spawn he kind of dismisses it he knows that he's had a teammate here the whole time but what he doesn't know is Zantares wants to play the big game with him and that's what we're gonna see caps and set up in the cross 
gonna have to try to spam through the smoke to find a kill. They smoked him off, but this was set up pretty good so far oh, for the big plan. Wow. That was not a kill that needed to happen, though. Tizian falls the off poison, and the trade comes in for taps, and this one's oh, gonna get off dear. real quick, just under 30 seconds left of the clock, and it's config to try to salvage this one where it stands. However, Xanteras finally arrives on the scene. Long is compromised, and blame F. 1v1 with Xanteras. Where does this end up? 15 seconds left on the clock. Get pressed here. It's gonna be a press for time. Eventually, Blame F has to make a move. He's gonna pop flash his way through the smoke, but Xantera's a little too aware, too flashbanged, and too easy. Blame F couldn't get it done right there, and that was a struggle for complexity. The fact that Xantera's like, holds on, he stays in that position. He could have run away, he could have escaped. There were 10 seconds left, and Ooh. that was almost undoable for Blame, but Xantera's takes the fight blinded and closes it. What a legend, what a lad. Uh, as Big find their second. Uh, yeah, Complexity, big mistake there on Long, right? They need those smokes down. Uh, they, I, I, I didn't quite catch their util other than Blames. He had a smoke, but he was down and lower the whole time. And so Complexity didn't have enough utility to cross Long. They try and combine it with a Molotov. But after that phase, again, the same issue that wasn't punished the other round, which is the bomb being late. Complexity get two players on the site, and then they realize, oh, wait, the bomb hasn't crossed. They have to cross, taps and kills them all. Now, I've seen some fun facts in my day, Hugo, but what's your take? Bullet for my Valentin. Uh, complexity of three players re with repeating initials, both first and surname begin with same letter, though. W w uh, uh, yeah, I mean... Alliterative. Yeah. I like that. I, I don't want to try and work anything out right now. <laughs> my, my words, letters, numbers, they're all just the same thing. They all do the same thing, Ancient really. Ancient Egyptian hieroglyphics, that's, that's the language I speak in. Yeah, straight up. And that's why I don't understand anything you're saying 95% <laughs> of the time, except what I do understand is complexity continually pressuring long A right here. They found a little bit of success, so why try to fix what's not broken? Boom, Ooh. big shot from Poison. That AWP is already going to make a big problem here in the beginning of this round for the CTs. I notice you're already having the problem that it's anyone has casting it big, is which is not. can't use the word big. Uh, <laughs> but that is, funnily enough, a very common word in the human language, in the English language. Yeah. Big up. Uh, yeah, big oof. Big and oof, even. Big coal. <laughs> it's a big coal game right here. Yeah, that's what they say. Now, I said the complexity of found success out long, but it looks like they have to slow down a little bit here. They're getting ever so much closer to the cross. Bigger onto this. They're aware that complexity are going to continue to abuse long, and they are ready for it. Tizian's going to be ready for this cross. He's already going to start to spam, and he's not the only one here that's going to be leaving a little bit of a present for complexity. Ooh. Big shot. Pearson not even taking one. And it's Russian oboe that opened the site like a can opener. The old head clicks for Cole, and they're going to send Big running right out of there. W buttons pushed, pushed down. Mashed, in fact. They're going to be uh, sellotaping coins to the key trade to auto run. It's like it's Daisy all over oh. again. Basically, Big are getting the hell out. And Complexity, they're up to a sixth round here with five alive and two orbs as well to save. Rush will drop one of them. Probably the right call. Get it out the map. Don't let Big save it themselves. Daisy was that boomer game, right? Absolutely not. Oh. I, I, I won't let you talk smack. <laughs> Actually, I haven't seen Daisy in a long time. Don't no, plan to either. No, keep it that way. Keep it that way. Just, There's only just one game. On memory. Some things should be remembered and not continued. Exactly. That's kind of like my argument about playing single player games over again because the graphics are not going to be up there. It's like watching. Um, Never mind, forget it. The point is, I think you understand, Hugo. Well, some cameras with good graphics, the ones that Complexity <laughs> have set up for us here, they look pretty damn pretty, in fact. And, yeah, I mean, Complexity, so looking the same in the server indeed, up to six on this T side. And Big have had a problem dealing with this pace the Complexity have mustered in this half. Now, back to it. Two players towards the B side of things. The bomb top mid. They're going to be defaulting, trying to take lower. The orb is looking for a pick and B. And once that Molotov fades, there might be a chance, but the grenade does very little. Um, Poison will just hang around. Yeah, Poison. He's been finding a lot of openers for the side of complexity with the state WP. Perhaps he can do that here. He's going to get flashed off, though. And what that's going to do is create a bigger situation for him to deal with. He's now stuck, isolated. The Molotov's going to land on his side. Luckily, he's going to get away and resume tempting fate. Seems like that's what Poison wants to do today. Yeah, but look, oh, Keto's crossed the left side of the tunnels. This is going to be a fake up cat with a bomb, and they might likely just drop down lower and run back to B here. We'll see with the bomb getting shown towards A. Complexity want 
big to see it. They want them to over rotate, but no adjustments being made in this round. Resmoke back on the catwalk, and that will keep complexity honest for now. Big even aggressing up on short side. They're going to push up and resmoking everything off. This is just going to stop the round for about 20 seconds for Cole. They've got to wait out this util. They're going to do so Ooh. in middle, trying to fast play from the back line. No one here to stop them, and only one man left in the B bomb site. It's Keto. He hasn't been forgotten about. In fact, somehow he hits a banger of a shot on a config, drops the bomb, but ultimately it shouldn't matter too much in the big picture. Searson will be the only one alive. He's not going to even try to tempt it. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised to see Complexity go on the hunt here a little bit. He does have an off in his hands, so perhaps they could take it away. They built up a considerable investment over on the side of Complexity. Good money, good times, good vibes. Keep them rolling. If you're having good times, we want to know all about it. Hashtag DH Masters. Y'all know the routine. Y'all are pathetic. <laughs> Thank you, Trace. Yes, indeed. Had to get that one in there, sorry. Yeah, you know, get it out while you can. That's what they've, they've said. Bomb explodes, complexity, looking hot to trot. Won this third and final map of the series. Seven rounds that the two of big, this is not what we forecasted. Now they're galloping, gallivanting to first place here in this best of three. They may have fallen short a little bit on uh, Vertigo after picking up Mirage in a double overtime. This series has certainly gone the distance, and I don't imagine this map is going to remain dominant. You would hope Big are going to get into the swing of things, and a tactical pause could certainly lead them in that way. It's an eco following this, though. Saved AWP is all Big have to play with. Could see some Deagles, some pistol armor, etc. But nothing too heavy for Big if they want to have that full by following up. Yeah, and I'm, I'm I'm looking over here at Complexity. I'm thinking Rush. He's pretty much having his way with Big right now. He's a clearing out the A bomb site. We've got him running into the B bomb site, or running out middle and finding the opening picks. And that is literally what it's taking right now for Complexity to be pushed over the edge. We saw some of the shots he hit on the quad, or as you call it, Gandalf. Just yep. beautiful stuff. And that's the type of rush that you expect to see. That is the major champion that we expect to see in the server. Nonetheless, back at it again. Searson with an AWP, the rest of his teammates on some upgraded pistols. And here we go, a fast mid play for Complexity. Yeah, there is a player in CT though. Zantaris isn't armed for the job. He's just gonna go out wide with a pistol, gets away with one, flashed off, falls back, but into the Molotov. The bullets will kill him first anyway. Keto with the Deegan. We know what he can do with this gun, but this time only good for one. Oboe gets tagged and lives to fight another day. He's gonna get the bomb out of here instead of risking it into B. I say risking it, it's not a risk. B is clear. Oboe just wants the gunfights and he'll take them tooth and nail. One more found, blame spots both in the spawn. But luckily Oboe's already up on the catwalk. They are gonna hear this. He's being very loud about it, but looking for the ace in a one on two is Oboe. Oh my God, 40 HP. He's gonna tap the bomb plenty of time to do so. He could play around with this for a while if you really wanted to, you could double all the way back, but that's just not reality, is it? That's not realistic. Oboe now with the bomb planted in the ace site. He's got to set himself up. A smoke will dissipate right here on the site, but he's getting split from both Cat and Long. The op coming from Long. Tizzy on the AK on short, and this created a bigger problem. Oboe needs to decide what fight he wants to take, and it looks like he's set up for the catwalk one. Yeah, but they're taking so long that he doesn't know how close he could be. He's considering the CT walk up. They're not coming from it. He's got a turn. Here comes Tizian in the back line, and he shuts down the round for Big. Nice try from Obo. I mean, how the hell is he supposed to read that, right? With how long Big are taking, and the fact that they've not fired a single shot, everything makes it look like Big are walking up CT. I don't think they have this defuse trace. I'm uh, just going to put it out uh, there. Oh, uh, uh, Oh, Obo wins it. That's the one on, <laughs> one on two. I was gonna say ace, not the ace. That was cool he gets looking. Four out of five if you count the bomb kill, and I think I count the bomb kill. I mean, I was just as confused as anybody else right there at the end of the round with the bomb explosion. It says complexity wins the round. Worth noting that was an eco, right? It never yeah. should have gone that far anyway. So the fact they even get close is impressive. But get out with one gun surviving is still a good eco. But but that's why they don't have a kit there. So you can't really blame Big for not having a kit, but you can blame them for taking too long on that retake, right? It yeah. does do them the justice of having Obo look the wrong way, but it doesn't do them the justice of having time to defuse the bomb. So well, swings and roundabouts. Well, then you start to question, you know, what, why did it take so long? Is this because they wanted Obo to ultimately expose himself and go for a yeah. fight that was, uh, you know, a little ill-timed? or ill-prepared, and that's just simply not what happens. He buys enough time, complexity somehow, some way, pick up another round of eight. We're well through this first half of play. Round number 11 right here in front of us, Rush. Wants to get up close and personal, as he has this entire series thus far. Oh, oh. is he gonna wall bang? I would love Look to see Look at this. It. I, I mean, so. he's just, he's he's not aiming through the wall, right? And for him, he can't see Tizian, so he's just aiming for the push right now. 
unfortunately, as close as it looks, it might not come because Tizian is just waiting for Complexity to flash through the door so he can turn around. The AWP baiting them in. What will happen here for Big? Yeah, they all bait and switch. Searson will take the first shot. He's going to ring it out on the config. They already read into it. Tizian didn't have a chance in hell. And it's Rush that takes him out. Meanwhile, Searson is going to continue to be a menace here, but it's not enough. 3v2, Obo and Blame F left to their own devices here. Blame F, if he can work out middle, if he can find this kill on the rotator, that's going to open up this A site completely. He's going to go for the peak now, spots the legs, taps away, and finally Keto goes down. But what that's done is left Santeras stuck in middle. And now a 1v1. Ooh. It's the classic trace. It's Cole without a util to cross long, but they've only got 15 seconds. Obo has to run for it. Luckily, Zantaris has missed the timing coming up catwalk, and that molly buys Obo more seconds to plant. Zantaris coming in with a molly of his own, pushes Obo out, and Zantaris is going to try and chase him down, but Obo is already posted on the angle, ready and waiting, and he's not going to get the shot. Zantaris, how on earth does this man win wow. these situations? Two points of health to his name, and the one-on-one -on -one makes it look easy. I mean, that's a battle I like to see out there regardless, right? Between these two, two aimers, yeah. if you will. Like, these guys can shoot. That's, yeah, I mean, definitely, right? But I, I, Obo, he plays that well. He plays that to perfection. He doesn't fall for the, the fake, the jump through the smoke for Zantares. I just don't know how Zantares wins it. He's just so quick, man. A good idea and good read here from Complexity. You immediately say, okay, that pop flash or the flash over after the op shot, there's something fishy going on here. Something smells right around the corner. And of course, playing closed door. So they eliminate him, they move forward. They don't pick up the round though. He's big with two HP at the end of it all. Back to long though. Complexity, they just do it round after round. Run it back, baby. Tapson's in the pit though. There's three CTs here and the T's have seen nothing. They've been blind ever since they got through those doors and they won't see much more than death itself. Config does respond. Sis is still here and pushing the perimeter. Maybe he should be careful, but shot through the smoke. Ooh. Tizian eventually punished. The bomb has been dropped, but Tizian has control of it. A smoke, a kill while flashed, and poison now alone. This is just a mess, Trace. Nothing oh. makes sense anymore. Did it ever, though, in the first place? That's the real question we've got to ask ourselves around here. Poison, 1v3, 76 HP with the bomb in hand. Thinks he's going to cross long, but they've got another plan for him. And I say that, and they, being big clan, well, they missed the opening, or the, the first response shot here. Oh, that would have been sick. Woulda, coulda, shoulda. Tizian's able to close the round out big. Scraping together a few more at the end of this half. We're currently around 13. And this is the third and final map of the series. There's nowhere else to go. Yeah, we see the AWP uh, very freed up now on long. That's nice to see from Big having solutions to this uh, this quick long take. The complexity of just run back round after round. I feel I think if Cole just go for a mid to B after you know taking some long control early in the round, they'll just win because Big are going to be leaning towards A after all of these rounds from Cole. Not in this one though. It isn't eco. Big read it well. They stack two and B in case of a rush. That's not going to be the game plan, though, for this T side. They are just going to slow play around these Deagles, two of them, and a scout on Poison. Really not the armada of weaponry that Complexity wanted to bring into this round, but let's see what they can do with it. No smoke for this catwalk. Looking to take dry fights. Taps is walking up through CT, and the AWP is the first point of contact. Boom. Searson had the opportunity right there like a dove in the air. He's going to continue to deliver. Searson on two. Will he go for three? Yes, he will. Connects with the head of Poison. Ooh. Almost walks away with everything needed right there. Config not able to answer the call either. But albeit not a lot of investment right there, so let's keep that in mind. And while it looks cool, there's not a lot on the plate for complexity in that round. It's certainly very hard to cross to the site there without flashbangs, but the, the key is you should be trying to focus on the plant. All those players were looking for the fight. All those players were wanting to trade this. And obviously, you know, you can't really blame them there. They've got deagles, they're looking for kills, but that just digs the hole deeper. That just gets this more fired up. And complexity won't get a bomb part, which is going to cost them here. No all. Only poison on the scout. So. Not the end of the world, but certainly could have been better here in round number 14. Two left in this halftime trace. Complexity looking for double digits. Certainly attainable. We'll see if they can get there. The bomb outside of B right now, just waiting. So likely going to see this end B. We'll see though. Complexity is just defaulting right now, taking some mid control, holding long. Trying to force out that BU till most importantly. Obo drops his smoke, so expecting maybe Bigger gonna you know pop a Molly or a smoke right back to defend, and they do. Molotov is a spam, gives away the fact there are two players on B, two different guns have been fired if complexity are keeping count. 
Just keep it count, man. It's 2020. We made it this far. Might as well stop while we're ahead. Meanwhile, attack control for complexity. This A site has been their target pretty much this entire half. And now they want to try it from the catwalk side of things. A couple smokes, a little bit of utility there. Try to thwart them off and slow them down. They've already molotov off Goose, but here's Searson again from the game helper, from the car itself. He's got to back away. He can't hit a shot. And right there is an example of how, how easy that can be to cross past the AWP when you have good utility. The close cross smoke, the flashes follow through, and Searson's forced to play retake. He can't hit a shot. If he hangs around, he dies. So, yeah, now big push back into a five-on-five, five, coming mainly up from CT spawn. This is a bit of a mess. Yeah, and you could just see it looked like a, a totally different complexity right here. They use utility correctly. Now a five on five retake has already been dwindled down. Big rush and oboe get three out of the round and out of the idea of retaking it. That's going to bring us into this last round of this first half. Searson stays alive with the op a little bit longer, has been instrumental in the play that they've had on long A. Ooh. But not when he misses. No. Uh, luckily, it won't really have too much resounding consequences, right? Complexity, they get away with four at a bare minimum. Okay, three at a bare minimum. Okay, no, three. <laughs> three at a bare minimum. And they will be fine to buy for the last round. So exits aren't really an issue for complexity in terms of losing players. And nice fast play past the AWP. They they don't get scared of it, right? That, yeah. that would be very easy to do so. After Sisson drops four and the eco call could just avoid that AWP for the rest of the half, but they have no fear. And now they go back towards B with a bomb. It's not going to be a rush with only two here, but at least taking this control early. Uh, I'd love to see a little bit more B here for Cole at the end of the half. It's the perfect round to do it. Especially considering you don't have anything on long. Right haven't gone for any long control here you're exactly right in fact it's big that are up close and personal and long i think this has left complexity in a little bit of limbo here obviously the bomb being down and lower and players spread out through middle and upper oboe being the only player in upper it's created a little bit of a dilemma and now that they've spotted oboe that's going to hold these b players in place for a little bit on the big side oh <laughs> what no these out cup scouts on terra's keto we'll have to wait until next half big shots from oboe and that's going to leave Tizzing and Taps in all on their own. What kind of shot was that? You did say that guy can shoot, Trace. I told y'all. I am inclined to believe you after that round. Oboe just, he gets molly. He's dead, man. Yeah. He's got two players peeking him. They're just trying to trap him. And he swings, one taps the molly thrower, and then just sprays down the second man like it's nothing. This round is done, Big. You can give it a go. You can give it a try, but you are not getting out alive. No saving here either for Tizzy. And it's last round of the half. He's got his deagle out. Forget the reloader on the M4. There's not much time left in this round anyway. Go stand in the molly, Tizzy, and just do it. Yeah, do the do the justice. The, well, big Welcome back, everybody. It is just about time to get things started and also time for me to introduce a friend of mine who has an approximate total winnings of $56 born on March 24th, 1998. He goes by the name of Just Harry. Welcome back, Harry. Hey, man. Yeah, you talk about that $56. I remember it like it was yesterday. <laughs> Those were some prize winnings I had, Trace, but let's focus on the bigger prize let's that is it. this series and topping the group here. For one of these two teams, Complexity looking good to find themselves in that spot now. And Poison, while well, he's aggressing over here towards Catwalk now, Big, they do have players down in the lower tunnels. They've also got Searson holding on to the top of mid. Rush is here to try and pull the attention away. He's been having a great game thus far. And he does have these flashbangs to help out his player at Catwalk if needed. Now the flashes go over. Poison's going to try and peek on the back of him. They've snuck up close, and that's a bit of a shame for Poison. He was holding for that push the whole round, it felt like. The moment he backs away, the push comes in, and now Catwalk taken for big. They've got long control. Complexity, they're left in a three-on-five retake, and everyone grouped up in middle. They're all trying to wrap around over here towards long to come in for this retake. Yeah, long was a big problem for, well, big. Imagine that in the first half of play. But here, well, here they're making a stand. They do have this bomb planted and ultimately nowhere for complexity to run. Except for long A. This is all they've got left. There's nothing left in the tanks. Pearson at the car, as usual. It's Rush that finally silences him. But crossing this is going to be no easy feat. In fact, I don't even think it's going to be possible this round. Going in the way of big. They pick up a pistol and ultimately make this game just a little bit closer. 
Yeah, you know, I mean, we've already seen this. This the, these two teams have definitely got it in them to uh, to make these comebacks happen and to give us the close game. And you know, I think Vertigo being the most one-sided thus far. Dust 2 felt like it could have been uh, kind of the same, but this time in favor of complexity. However, with Big getting this pistol round on the board. Left Cole with a force buy in this round. They've gone for the double scouts. I felt like, you know, we, we saw Astralis like really pushing the envelope out for how many scouts there you buy on like a CT force. And since then, we've started to see more and more cropping up. Now, two scouts on Dust, that's pretty sad. Astralis, they were doing it with three when we've seen them do it in the past. But I think it makes a lot of sense. You know, Dust 2, lots of long sight lines. And these scouts, even if you're not getting kills and you're just finding bits of chip damage to soften them up for these Deagle players, you can leave yourself in a great spot. However, this round, a great spot is not where Complexity find themselves. Flame F trying to ring out some shots with the Deagle, but nothing connecting yet. Flash is good, but he's not able to get a kill on the back of it. And close in the sight is Keto. He's going to cut them both down at long. They say sight once again belongs to Big. And complexity. They're going to have to save, and this isn't really the most bountiful of saves. It's Trace. not the most opportune time for Complexity here, of course, as they start to get ran back on. Big Clan in a big way. Go up to seven. Now, Harry, I just, you know, I'm, I'm obviously curious now that I've seen it. What? Two things. What yeah. did you spend $56 on? And B, where did you get $56 in approximate total earnings of prize winnings? Uh, me, Maniac, Hugo, Vendetta... Uh, I'm trying to think who else. You guys played bingo at we, nursing home. We, or? we we played in a uh, in like this cup, like this online cup. Oh. And it was casted by like Richard Lewis and then like stuff like that. And uh, I think Vince was there as well. Cool. Yeah. One fifty six dollars. That was that's, pretty cool. That's a pretty good day in the office. I got added on to Maniac's tally as well. Nice. His his pro player earnings went up from whatever they were by fifty six dollars. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. Oh man. Well, going up on the tallies would be these big rounds. I'm not saying that, that they're all massively impactful either. This one, for the side of complexity, is not going to be easy. They've got a scout on config. They're going to try to control along on their own. They want to dish back some of this poison they were dishing out in the first half. And that's a good start with Rush taking down Searson. Have given the numbers advantage over to complexity. Yeah, it is just full eco, really, though. Outside of these saved weapons, you know, the, the Deeg armor and the scout on config, there's not really much else in this round. So you're hinging on these pistols getting away with a hell of a lot. And with the B site already crumbling, this is now a very hard round for complexity. Even though they've got the man advantage, even though they've retrieved the weapon, or they could have over a long, uh, trying to retake B, even if you have rifles in like a four on four, is a very tricky prospect. So getting it done with vanilla pistols just ain't gonna happen. It's not gonna cut it. And um, Big aren't even putting the bomb down. They're delaying this plant just to mop up the pistol players. So they're really not leaving anything to chance in this round. And Tarez with a triple and an eighth on the board for Big. But now, Trace, this is where things get exciting. This is where the first buy is going to come through from Complexity over on this CT side. Yeah, and I'm excited to see what Rush can do. As you can tell, he's on a tear right now, 19 and 10. He's leading the way for Complexity. But this lead that they had going into the second half is starting to squabble. It's starting to find a way to go away just as fast as it came in. Catwalk, Searson with some vision on long, but he's gonna get Molotov off, so that op is not going to be a valid point of contest right there. Meanwhile, Config with his AWP is just tagging people through the door. Casual day in the office for Config. Oh, but he tries to go back in. You try and double dip and that's what happens. Searson holding on to the mid doors. And that's the amount of advantage given over to the big boys. Get out in towards middle. They drop a smoke to allow for the cross. Second as well, gonna block off any vision for player in CT. Obo though, hidden close in this little corner, doubling down and now putting this back in the advantage of complexity. However, once again, the B site is already gone. It's already been taken by Big. In through the window, it's Blame F laying down the pain. Obo tries to duck in through the doors. Well come to regret that decision as now it's given over a kill to Big. The nade actually could find a kill here. Keto has just gotten away Oof. from it though. And now Big try and set up for the two on three post plot. Scary close, but you are right. Keto on those nine HP. He's gonna have to hold on tight or Zontaris is gonna have to do all the work. We don't know. Here we go though. Zontaris peeks the door. It's rushed that he takes out. He does it just with such conviction. It's unbelievable. 
fully commits to that. What's that stun though is really bring this this round full circle for Big. I can't even believe it. Kind of stuttering at the concept that Big have somehow won that round. It's actually insane. Yeah, man, you thought Oboe had done enough with this double uh, double hold down in mid, but Centaurus, he's looking so convincing right now, just topping the charts for Big, you know, really coming into his own here on Dust. And then I think, you know, as well, you look at it, you got Searson, the heavy hitter right behind him. This, like, deadly combination of Centaurus, the man who crack rounds open with the AK. I mean, actually, I don't look for Centaurus to do that. I look at Searson to find the openers with the AWP, and Centaurus is there to close out the rounds, right? And, and offer up that, that, like, clutch ability for the big squad. And, you know, that, that same kind of duo in tandem of an AWP to open up rounds and then a clutch rifler isn't necessarily available to complexity in the same vein. Poison is having a bit of a quiet game when compared to Searson on the other side. And we've already seen that double AWP for complexity actually proved to be more of a liability in the previous round than an asset. Is the case, Harry Russell. <laughs> oh my god. Well, Rush is going to regret that. Good grief on a shot. Tizzy and just clicks his little head away. Bye-bye, Mr. Will. Good round. Somebody else wants to play the gauntlet, too, it seems. Tizzy and now backs away, knows that it's not necessarily a fight that needs to be taken. And considering the pistols that Complexity have, that's where things do get strange. People get out here and find gamble fights, almost. Check out Poison, speaking of which. Pushed all the way around long. Now he's going to have that vision top mid. He's going to make the call. Don't know if he got word that they're going up cap, but he's dropped himself a gun in the form of Zonteras. What are you doing, Blaine, man? Oh. Yeah, he was trying to play for a knife there, I think. And uh, ballsy to go for. You, you kind of understand. I, I kind of love the, uh, the, the attempt. He knows that this round, not very likely that Complexity are able to pick it up. And, you know, with Poison retrieving the AK, I imagine he's just looking to save. I don't even think we see it go for it. He is still pushing in through long. Uh, yeah, n now he falls back. So I don't think Complexity ever really figured they were going to win that. Blame was trying to go for the knife just to give them a bit of like an economic edge in this one. Obviously, it doesn't come through. Poison at least gets away with this, and he's able to invest into an AWP in this follow-up round. So that AK can get dropped over to someone else on the squad. Just going to help to balance the checkbook a bit for Complexity. However, there's no ignoring this rip-roaring start from Big in this second half. They uh, they were 5-10 coming into it. Well, now they've tied it. Now they've tied us up, at even footing with complexity yet to dot around. Wild scenes. And they've got the paper towels out here in the big house. Palms are sweaty, or perhaps they're getting ready to eat some spaghetti. We don't know. Don't know, Harry. Here's the shot from Searson. No one's going to be there to receive it. But there's rifles back in the hands of Complexity, and that's what they needed. 10-10. This was a game, and obviously is always a game of two halves. But this first half, Complexity looked like they were running away with it. What's happened here, Harry? Yeah, well, you know, I do think Dust 2 is not that uncommon to see, like, uh, a, a team just lean really favor uh, favorably in terms of one side. And I think, you know, when you're playing a T-side, you have, like, the advantage of being able to set the pace and kind of dictate how the half goes. And that's why I think you see a lot of teams pick the CT side of Dust 2, really really on any map for that matter. Because this, this ability to kind of, you know, come back into it and hit the ground running is very much there on the T-side. And so big, they've just been dictating the pace throughout this entire thing thus far. And Complexity just haven't had answers. Now, this is something they've been good at doing, right? Complexity, it's kind of not uncommon to see them take a few rounds where they stumble, they get blindsided, and then they'll make the adjustments needed. But it's not like Big have just been banking on one or two strats to win them this. They've been taking the gunfights straight up. Complexity have been trying to adjust and just been getting shut down at every avenue. So this might be a, a more complicated answer to the questions that Big are throwing out. But speaking of problems, Poison's about to have a whole new set of them. This A bomb site is compromised. Bomb should be getting planted here any second. Ten alive in the server. Not every day that this happens, but I don't anticipate a unicorn round this time around, Harry. No, at least it really shouldn't be, right? You've got kits in play if you're complexity, and that's the huge part. It's going to give you that much more time to set up for this five-on-five -five retake. 
These are never ideal. And really, you need to get a kill fast if you are complexity. And with that not providing itself, half the time ticked off this bomb. They're walking into it, a man down. And they're going into the firing line set up by Big. The trades are so back and forth. Oh but Oboe God. burns out in the elevator. And Poison, he never really budged from long. He had that AWP, couldn't go for the retake. And it's an 11th round on the board for Big. Still flawless in this second half. Looking to come in with the reverse sweep. And once again, Trace, the money is just in such an awkward spot for complexity. They're still able to buy. They can soak up these costs, but this is not where they want to find themselves whatsoever. Rush going to take a sip of water there. We needed to report on that. I think that you know could be the pivotal thing. Oh, yep, there you go. I told you. I'm telling you guys. I should go buy a lottery ticket today. I think, I think you should, man. And let's see, right? Maybe now that he's had a little sip, of the uh, of the H2O, maybe he's ready to get his head back in the game. High quality H2O. Shout out Adam Sandler one time. Complexity had won 15 maps in a row until Vertigo. How do you think this would sound? Like a uh, combo breaker, 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 like that, or? That's pretty much. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay. Maybe like a little bit more like. Uh, Basey. Yeah, like the bassiness, loudness <laughs> overall. Combo break, that's it. That's break, the one. That's break. the one, Trace. You made it. <laughs> well, here we get back into it. And again, you mentioned that this money was wonky over on the side of Complexity, and there's no Willy Wonka in sight. No magic will be happening here. Tizzy and Hash pushed himself all the way out. He's got some teammates. They're going to erase this problem that is Complexity at long. Surely there's no answer. Yeah, well, one good thing about all this confusion and all this chaos is that while they're so busy trying to deal with Rush, they might not account for Config, who's been hidden here this whole time, but of course they swing him. And that's a little bit heartbreaking. Complexity, they were trying to play like a bait and switch setup. And I think that's why Rush is so keen to keep taking those fights, right? It's all with the goal that, okay, Rush, maybe he gets like one more kill there and then goes down. And they were hoping that that would trigger Big to just rush up through long, not account for Config, and he can make a play. But big, they're very methodical in this approach. They're not going to let a round slip by the wayside to not checking that long corner. And for Poison, this is probably just the save. It's not going to make for the most thrilling around, but it might end right here, right now, thanks Ooh. to this flank from Keto in through long. Big, man. They, they actually could just reverse sweep this at this point in time. 12 to 10. This is a full-on turnaround. Seven in a row over on the T side for big. And thus far, I haven't really seen much from Complexity that's led me to believe yeah. that they're going to get back into this. And if you want to see something from Complexity, you want to see Config come alive right now and take the game into his hands. So that's not what we're being given. We're currently given 12 to 10 here. Big up. Moreover, big ups. They find themselves in B, in the B apartment. Being the B halls, my goodness. I've been playing this game for 20 <laughs> years. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Oh, big geez. lineups, I told you. Config needed to come alive, and guess what? He takes some lives with him. He's done it over there in the B site and what was already a weird round having yeah. Big Clan find a kill through the smoke. He eradicates it. He says, you know what? I'm here to stay. I'm going to put my foot down in the back of sight and you shall not pass. Man, that is wild from Config. And you're right, Trace, this is a very weird round, right? They started to go through the tunnel smoke. And, and then the second man in, like, stopped running because they, they, they decided to turn back the moment they saw Config there on the orb. The, the, the third guy in the line gets, gets caught on this second guy going in. So the first dude falls. Config just spams the smoke again and collaterals a two for one. Doesn't get the kill onto the third man, but he has brought Keto down low. And in doing all of this, he's completely thwarted the plan from Big. They've now forced him back into this day bomb site. And it's another orb stepping up, causing yet more problems now. If you look at that, Tizian has shrunk himself down to the size of a hamster and rolls along the ground to get up into this site. However, not going to survive the journey. Poison will burn him out, and this leaves Searson in a 1v4. Complexity, they might be about to put a stop to this streak. Yeah, Complexity needed this round big time. Speaking of big with Searson, the bomb's down on the other side of the smoke. Kind of awkward, but should be able to get it planted here unless it all comes crashing down on his head. He's going to get the bomb down at the very minimum. Now it would have to be something special. He looks for the second kill after finding config on Catwalk, and that's not going to be the flavor of the day. Complexity finally put a round up here and finally show some contest towards the big clan. Berlin International Gaming, that is. But they can't take their foot off the gas just yet, Harry. Counter-terrorists win. 
No, they really can't, right? This is one round in a sea of rounds that have come up in favor of Big. And you really can't afford for this to be a one and done here if you're complex. You need to kind of go on a, on a Big-esque streak of your own here. You want to see this series through to the very end. Big-esque. It's like AZ-esque, but Big-esque. Big-esque, yeah. Big puns over here, too. <laughs> Got some big puns in the house, obviously. Big puns in the house. What's good? Tito out from mid. And he's looking to make a big play in this round. Sneaking in through the catwalk. And he does have players. Oh, it looked like Blame F was going to go his way, but dropping down into CT instead. And with how big a set up, this is feeling like it could culminate in a B play, realistically, right? You've got Zintares in the tunnel. You've got these mid smokes going on through, and those get dropped now. And yeah, it is this mid to B. Been telegraphed thanks to these CT smokes mm. falling, but Oboe not able to hold the line. It falls to config with this orb. Now, last time he was the hero we needed at the B bomb site, but this time he's up against even more overwhelming odds. And Tabson is going to best him. But the remaining three on complexity, it's just a save already. They're already out of this one, Trace. They can't go for it. A three on four retake at B with no money in the bank account. This is an undoable round. And this is going to be complexity's biggest problem because they've got no control over the money. They're not in a position where they can really go for any of these risky retakes that you... You know the ones like where it feels 50-50 and it's kind of on a knife's edge? You've got to play the percentage game, right? And you've got to look to the future and keeping this game alive in the rounds to come. This one will just slip by the wayside. 13 on the board for big. Reinvestment looming for complexity, but it's going to be pretty bare bones. And once they go for it, they're set up for a reset up against 14. If they lose that one, it goes 14-11. There's no money left for complexity. And at that point, big could just run away with this game. Yeah, at that point, I, I'm telling you, this would be about the time for Poison and Config over in Complexity to really take the fight too big. We know Config to be one of those players that really will get aggressive when things are not going their way. He will find an answer or a solution, rather. But that's not going to be a good start to his round. He gets tagged on to 47, just trying to cross mid. He hadn't even done anything just yet. Poor fella. Will not make holding B any more fun. And as I say that, Long A firmly in control of Complexity. So a little bit of a seesaw. A teeter-totter. That walk, though, could be for the taking. Big's backed off a of B and he just can't catch a break. Instead, he catches a round from Searson. 308 Lapua. And that's all she wrote for config in that round. Oh, with this off of poison, though, it's been good. It, it, in moments where you need it, poison is here time and time again to step up. And that shot where you would have loved for it to connect, it might have made all the difference. Keto, he's not waiting around. Oh, big. Oh, my goodness. Keto is open this fight, wide open. See us going to miss the shot onto Obo, but it might not matter. That kill might just be in vain. Bomb's going to go down in A. And, and Big, they're, they're so overzealously confident. They, they, they have such a good read on this game that they're not even playing everyone inside of the site. They are preemptively hunting these guns down. I love this decision. This just screams confidence. You don't even need everyone in the site. You're not playing safe anymore. You're playing to destroy Complexity's chances in the remainder of this series. And if you take all the guns away, this really could just be it. Solidified by Big on the back of this hunt. And Obo, I'm not fancying his odds. Taps and finds him 14 on the board. One silver lining for complexity is that the loss bonus is maxed out. So they're going to have that to fall back on at the very, very least. But, you know, if you bring orbs into this round, you're lacking utility. If you get everyone on rifles, you're still probably lacking a little bit here for complexity. So I, you know, I'm a, I'm a Southern man, right? And, you know, sometimes numbers, they don't really go my way. But in this timeout, it's pretty obvious. Seven rounds here on the T side for big. They have had all of the answers. And moreover, they're in charge right now. They're running it. They're dictating the pace of this half. Pretty one-sided first half. Now things have really flipped around. This is not the script I was given, Harry. And moreover, just two rounds away from winning this group or big clan. Yeah, and in a crazy fashion, right? Like, you think about how close this series started with a double overtime affair back on Mirage, even though it felt like an age ago now. And then Vertigo obviously ended up going in favor of Big. 
complexity in securing Mirage. It looked like this was going to be a close series throughout. And, and this, this second half of play here on Dust had the recipe for that. It still very much does. But it's hinging on whether or not Complexity can find success with this buy here. Poison on the Armorless Orb, MP9 for Rush, big. They've got none of these problems. They are laughing all the way to the bank. They're set up back in T-Spawn and lower tunnels. Now there's no control of the upper tunnels and a flash has just gone in. Oboe's actually gonna start to look, uh, look a little bit aggressive over at this B site. He doesn't actually commit with the flashbang. And so I was thinking maybe Complexity get the early warning. They get this early info that Tunnels is clear. But now with that kill going their way, big, they've decided instead that they're going to fall back into long. But Poison's Orp is here. The flash goes over. He's left blind and Searson saw him. Even if he doesn't get the kill right away, they know that Poison's here. And he actually <laughs> is to shoot them through his teammate Rush. Wow. Well, that flashbang's not going to do everything that Rush wanted it to. In fact, this whole round has crumbled. Ovo and Config, the only two left alive on their rotation. And the A site has fallen. Olympus, not even a question. This one going in the way of Big Clan so far. 2v2 with the bomb planted. They find themselves kind of trapped in sight, though. Here comes Obo from Long. He's able to take down Zonteras. Just leaves tabs and don't underestimate this gentleman. There's your first shot. Looks for the second. Makes it look easy and convincing on Obo. Can he do the same for Config? He can! Taps it! Puts him up to 15. Big Clan are just one away from securing the series. And what a fashion to get it done in. Taps him with the 1v2 as I knock absolutely everything over in the studio, oh, Trey. Yeah, I'm just that riled up about this Big Clan victory. I love watching Big on Dust. You know, I, I spoke about this a little bit yesterday with Hugo. And we said, like, you know, when you look at the components in this squad with two of the players heralding previously from Sprout, this used to be a great map for them. And especially for someone like Sears. And I used to love watching him come alive with this AWP. Look at Blame F right map. here. Look at what he's having to do or what he's thinking is, is the best idea. He wants to get aggressive. Yeah. He wants to do something a little unorthodox. And it could net him death. Actually, nets him a kill. Taps him, though. Did the first one to fall. The exchange there. Keto finds it. the fight and the Fury's pace. This one's left in a 4v4. Yeah, I always feel like, you know, that's like the hallmark of, uh, of someone knowing that the only way you win this is if you make a play. And Blame F puts that responsibility on himself as the IGL. Gets up into top mid, drops the bomb, but that's the end of his journey. And it might be the end of Complexity's journey in this series. With bigger man up and their eyes set on the A bomb site, there's one man here to try and make a stand. Rush, he's been good in this series thus far for Complexity, but immediately bested bye by bye. Tizian. This one might just be over. Obo and Config, what can they do in the two on four? Gut feeling tells you not a lot, but Obo takes down Keto, and that's going to help. Molotov from Searson is going to bide a little bit more time in this 3v2. This is for everything. Complexity. Well, at the very best, get in here and defuse, but now that's looking like an impossible.